What's up, guys? I'm Bubba Warren. Bill's gonna get the advantage on the inside. Bubba's gonna make it up here as he comes surging. here to talk about I would say the number one product I think Maxima has SC1 silicone spray been using this for probably over 15 years to be honest it was a like a silicone spray too before it was a spray and shine now it's a SC1 cool looking bottle greatest smell in the world they have air fresheners stickers they, they got it all put it in your car spray your car <laughs> but I use it on my bike I'll show you guys a demonstration of how I would use this. This is honestly one of the most crucial, most amazing products you could use even during the mud, but make sure you know how to use it because you don't want to get on your disc. You don't want to get any on any contact points, even motorcycles. Don't put it on your shrouds where your knees are or anywhere you think that you think might be slippery because this will make things not work. Sometimes it's a silicone spray, but easiest and my favorite I like making my wheels look good, black wheels. Make sure you always are spraying down away from the disc. Spin your wheel actually kind of fast so you're not doing a huge layer. And just spray down. Tire and rim, easy both sides. Kind of keep it going again. And that's pretty much it. I set it down, grab the rag, and I actually wipe it off and it'll create just a perfect layer. So, but if you're in the mud, make sure you leave that on there and then you'll actually have your rims a lot cleaner. Water won't stick to it. But today, we don't want the dust. We don't want anything just looking clean, looking fast. That's pretty much the wheel I would do, how I would do my wheel. Bike, I like to do, I spray it directly onto one spot. Stay away from your bike. Luckily the wind's going the other way right now, so we're good. But honestly, bottom tube, definitely a go-to. You wanna get all that. I know some flat colors will look kinda of weird, so you kinda of honestly maybe just do your whole bike, but it makes it look insanely good. If you can, wipe it a little bit onto your, onto your rear shock here. This is a little tight in here, but some bikes you might be able to just get it super easy. This will actually lube that first seal that actually dries up the quickest and that's what a lot of people rebuild and change. So that will actually keep your rear seal pretty lubed actually and not cracking. And then I'll use the other side of my, of my rag and just kind of wipe off that first layer. And it will be Good to go on that. And then I'd move forward and go straight to my forks. Same process as we were doing before, but this is maybe a little crucial because it actually is floating down towards your disc. So you actually get in there, SC1, and make sure you just kind of very lightly, and I'll put a little bit on my stanchions, and I'll actually let it sit there for a minute to let it soak in, and I'll do it both on both sides. And then right here, and I'll, I'll take the bike off actually after, and I'll cycle it through a little bit and push down on it so it actually gets into the seal a little bit. And then I'll wipe it off. And then I get kept to the front of the bike here and do the same thing again. Practically just come along, spray the front wheel, and just get a nice coat on it. And then do that, and then I'll wipe that off too. Back on the rag. If people really like it, I like doing the forks, making it look super fresh. I mean, SC1 is known to just make plastics. Everything looks super clean and pretty much brand new. New bike in a can, that's what I like about it. it smells good. People love the product for mud. And honestly, great for lubrication too, to be honest. It's like a small lubricant. It's almost like assembly lube, but I use it actually for functional stuff. So like keeping the seals clean, keeping honestly some things moving. You can spray it even sometimes in your little bearings and that will actually help. I'll do it even in fishing gear, 
any other products too. Like it's a good little lubricant besides grease that you could actually put in there. So we'll get rid of some squeaking noises too. Doing anything really. If you want anything to look clean, use SC1. Thank you guys.